Hello and welcome to this grunt tutorial where we shall be going over how to concatenate files. So let's get started. Um, previously we was using um, the default task, going over how we use the default task. And um, we used Uglify. Um, but there was one thing I forgot to mention. You can actually register more than one default task. So here I've actually registered two, Uglify and CSS Min. Uh, very simple, I've left it in the comments of the previous video how to do that, um, in the description, sorry. This video we're going to be concatenating files, um, and what we need to do to get started is, look, we have to install the node module. So if we do sudo npm install, all this will be in the description, concat save dev. We've done this quite a few times now with different different plugins. So there it goes. Let's see. There we go, it's installing. So that's now installed and it should be added to our package.json. There we are. Let's jump back into the grunt file. Let's load the task. Done this again. We've done this uh, multiple times before as well. So that's now loaded. And if we go ahead and let's start putting our plugin options and functionality together. As always, I like to have a few options in mind. So we're going to use a separator. So that when we are merging our files, we're going to separate uh, the two files by a semicolon. Strip banners, we don't want any banner in there. Um, banners being what gets put at the top of the file. Um, and I'll show you a banner, quite a cool banner now. I'll put this one in here. Um, this basically just you know adds the package name, the package version, and when it was uh, created, which is quite useful. Um, I use these um, quite a lot, if not just for how cool they are as to uh, how helpful they are. So package dot version, all this information, package dot name is being pulled from here, which is effectively just this file. So let's remember by the way these tags here are just template tags. You may have seen these if you've used I don't know templating systems before. Um, do, 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 let's keep it simple. Let's use semicolon. I mean, uh, do, 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 do. then we shall add. Let me, let me full screen this. So you can see better. Um, uh, this is taking a while. I'll leave this in the description. Um, so I know you, you guys probably don't want to be typing this out. Um, do, 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 do. I think this should work. Uh, oh, we forgot to set our distribution where we want to distribute the files. Source. Um, so the source of the files, which ones we're going to get, we're going to use the. Uh, let's have a look what we're, we're working with here. Um, let's merge input two and input three. That should be, that should do. do. JS input two dot JS. Again, this is just an holding our files. This is just an array. That we're gonna well we're just saying look this is in rare files destination we've done all this before um we could just do main.main.js let's give this a whirl and see what happens do 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 grant converts And we have an error. And why is that? Because I forgot to put a comma there. Silly me. And another error. And oh, I'm off my, I'm off the game today. I'm leaving everything out. <laughs> Jeez. And another error. Um, what am I playing at? Left the uh, another comma there. And another error. Concat dest. Jason. What's it saying? 
Again, as a programmer, you'll come across this quite a lot. Warning, concat not found. Use false. Let's see, an error was processing a template. Took a legal token. Let's see what legal tokens we have. Let's uh, do some debugging. Source destination. Do 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 do. Uglify. Uglify. Concat. Genius. Let's start by taking this away. See what how, where we get up with that. And there we go. And I don't know why. Because we've done. Forgot to do the correct template format. So it ran. Let's see if we can run it again. The legal token again. So where's the token? Let's see. Um, hopefully this helps because when over oh, there we are missing that. So hopefully this helps because um, programming is a lot of debugging. Like you will spend hours just debugging and going through particular versions of files. There we go. So yeah, hopefully that shows that not every time I get this correct. Um, so in here we should have merged the files and it merged them. Uh, and previously these were uncut well minified, so let me just get them back to normal so it doesn't look too weird when we're merging. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. It's got a head and well, when I minified these, it's removed the bar and declaration. Let's see if this works. Let's go do right. Let's test this now. Again, we have main dot main. Let's run grunt concats. There we are. And um, as you see, when we actually put the banner in there, it's, it's created this here, which is useful because we can eventually go back, you know, and see, um, you know, when did we create this? When was it, uh, um, you know, concatenated? Um, but yeah, very useful. You can also do the destination. We can change this to you can use a templating system again to uh, name it after the package and. Um, Let's go ahead and open the template in, get the package version, .js. So we're saying JS, template system, package name, close template, separate, then do 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 do, let's see if this works. And there it did, it created a grunt tutorial because in our package.json we're using the name uh, grunt tutorial. And then it um, added the version on there too, which is very useful. So we've got the version there. So yeah, that's uh, that's it for concats in concatenating files. Um, very simple. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, I'm going to leave um, a link in the description for the uh, Grunt Contrib Concat uh, repository that's on GitHub. You can go over and uh, look at more um, options that the plugin has to offer such as well we've used a separator here, you can use footers, um, processes, source maps, source map styles and uh, all sorts of things. So I'll leave that in the description and uh, thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.